Um, oh, I think this guy's too happy. Just look at his face. Jax, is it just me or are you drawing a champignon again? Okay, then I know exactly what we need to draw for him. I think we need to draw a gun for this guy so that he can kill this devil. To find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. Um, guys, I'll come back later. Hello, everyone, friends. Today we will again play a game in which you need to complete the missing objects. Looks like this big guy can't find his weight. Well, I think we can draw her. Jax, I don't think it looks exactly like a kettlebell. It looks more like some kind of lady's handbag. It seems to me that sometimes women's handbags are even heavier than athletes' dumbbells. Therefore, I think that everything should suit him. He didn't even like the dumbbell we drew. Maybe she's too short for this guy? Okay, let's try to draw a weight again. It is quite possible that he generally needs a huge heavy barbell. She simply won't fit into this picture, so maybe we should try to draw a bigger dumbbell. I think we should ask for a hint first. Look, even the game says that we need to draw a dumbbell. Let's try to draw it in a slightly different position. It seems to me that if someone left a dumbbell in this position in the gym, they would be immediately kicked out of there. She lies extremely unsafe. She may fall from there, but it looks like this guy is happy with everything and now he will continue to build up his muscles and we need to draw a second eye for this robot. He has a pretty scary look, but it seems that this is how it should be. Okay, we helped this robot. Now we need to help this bald guy watch football. He watches some disgusting TV shows where people kiss. Let's just stop him from watching what's on TV now. It seems that this is not a way out of the situation because he did not get what he wanted, namely football. Well, I think we can draw a soccer ball and he can play soccer right at home. I think this idea is even worse than the previous one because he can completely break his TV with this ball. Better yet, let's draw him a TV remote control so he can change the channel. Jax, this remote is even bigger than his head. Have you even seen what TV remotes look like? It seems that this gigantic size does not bother him at all. Looks like this guy is having some trouble launching his rocket. There's a countdown on the screen, but the rocket still doesn't fly away. We need to draw a button. We sent a rocket into space with the help of drawing one button. Now we need to help this fisherman. It seems to me that he chose a place that was not at all fishing. I think we can fix this by simply drawing a little fish for him. Look, we draw a goldfish. Maybe she will make his wish come true? I really hope so. But I would also really like someone to fulfill my wishes. Now we need to help that guy swim underwater. It seems to me that he is afraid to open his eyes and we need to draw protective underwater goggles for him. In fact, you really can't open your eyes in seawater because the salt contained in the water has a very bad effect on the eyes. Now this guy's eyes are protected and he can see the entire underwater world. And now we need to help this alien whose finger is glowing for some reason. What is he missing? Maybe it's not actually a glowing finger, but a lighter? Okay, then I know exactly what we need to draw for him. I think this is absolutely not what we needed to draw. Perhaps he is giving some kind of signal so that his alien friends will fly in and take him away. Let's draw a UFO. It's more like some kind of hat for this guy. But it seems that with the help of this UFO, he was able to fly to his home. Now we need to help this guy make the right choice. What choice are we talking about? I think we need to draw a gun for this guy so that he can kill this devil. It seems to me that this is not quite what was required of us. Maybe we need to add an angel who can help this guy and advise him on the right actions. I think it's quite strange to hear such a proposal from a guy named Kane, but it looks like you were right. But in fact, it doesn't really look like an angel. I think he's a little missing his wings, but that's not a problem because we've completed this level. And now we need to help this poor guy get off the uninhabited small island. Maybe we should leave a help request like SOS or something like that? Let's then immediately draw the plane that flew in to save this guy by responding to his help signals. I think this is a little illogical because this island is too small for this plane to land on. Let's better draw a huge ship that sailed to save this guy. But this transport looks more like something that can take this guy away from this island. Great buddy, you are saved! And now we need to draw this guy an eye that is missing. How could it be possible to lose your second eye? Okay, now I'll try to draw an eye as similar as possible to the one he has. It seems to me that what you came up with is not very similar, but apparently this guy is pleased with the result. Now we need to help complete this superhero signal. Maybe they want to call Spider-Man? Definitely! Let's draw Spider-Man logo here. It seems to me that you haven't read comics at all. Don't you know that only Batman can be summoned using a spotlight? It's even called the Bat Signal. It would make more sense to draw the Batman logo here, namely a big black bat. Great! I think we did great! 
Now this city cannot be afraid of crime. Oh look, this is a guy we know. We already helped him, but we drew a burger for him. But now he has a festive cap on his head. This means you need to draw him a birthday cake. I think we did a great job. And this guy is happy too. He even tries to blow out the candle on this cake. Now we need to understand why this girl is unhappy. They gave her a ring. I think I'm missing a diamond on this ring. Well, let's draw it. That's pretty arrogant of her. She is not satisfied with the size of this diamond. Okay, let's try to draw a bigger diamond for her. Okay, I hope this size will be enough for her. Seriously? All this time she was angry just because of the size of the diamond? It seems to me that after this, I would change my mind about proposing marriage to her. Okay, now let's finish painting this death with a scythe, her real face. Um, Jax, is it just me or are you drawing a champignon again? You should practice drawing skulls. The main thing is that this guy is happy with his new face. Now we will move on and here we need to help this lock. Looks like he lost his friend. I think we should finish drawing him his friend the key. The main thing is to make it as similar as possible to the key so that this guy is happy. Um, oh, I think this guy's too happy. Just look at his face. Okay, now we'll help this fairy fix her magic wand. Looks like there's a star missing at the end of this magic wand. Okay, let's finish it. I hope she can do a lot of good things with her new wand. Why did this game even decide to give us a hint? We ourselves understand that we need to draw a flower here. Jax is pretty good at drawing. This flower looks almost real. Well, we dealt with this flower quite quickly, and now let's move on to the next task. The fly is stuck in the web, but there is no spider. It seems to me that we need to draw him so that he will eat it. It looks too cruel. I think it would be better if they drew scissors with which they would cut the web and free the fly. But now this spider has food and we can draw the following picture. This snowman of mine is definitely missing something. I think we should draw him a hat or something. Looks like he doesn't really like this hat. Maybe we should draw some other bucket type hat on our head. Now he looks like a royal guard. Do you know with these weird and furry hats? Looks like he's not of royal blood. Maybe then we can draw horns for him. Maybe he will like it. Now it's a snowman reindeer. But this option doesn't suit him either. I know exactly what he is missing. Oh, no, no, no. Remove this quickly before YouTube bans us for this. Seriously. Hat? We already drew his hat. Maybe he needs a tricorn hat. Oh my god, this hat doesn't suit this guy either. Okay, let's try to draw the neatest square hat possible. Maybe we should draw him a hat with ear flaps. Maybe it's a Russian snowman or something like that. Let's try to do this! Oh my god, he doesn't like this hat either. Buddy, why are you such a picky dude? Seriously, did he need a damn top hat? Oh my god, this guy really gave us a hard time. I hope this version of the hat suits him. Well, finally, Lord, I no longer believe that we could do this. Now let's draw a bucket here. We already tried to draw a bucket in the previous level. I hope in this level everyone will like the bucket that we will draw. Okay, this really looks like a real bucket, and we coped with this level too. Now, we're moving to the next level. Looks like tools are falling on this guy. I think we need to protect his bald head. Let's make some kind of barrier or something like that. It looks quite strange, but now I think this guy will definitely be protected. Perhaps the developers of this level wanted us to draw a helmet? I think it's time for her to wake up, but it's an owl. She needs to see the moon in order to stay awake at night. Let's draw her. This moon is really very similar to the real one. I hope she wakes up the owl. Just look at how funny her face is. This guy lost some of his glasses somewhere. Let's restore them. I think you can draw a round lens here. This guy's not happy with what we did. Maybe we didn't draw an even enough circle? Okay, let's try to redraw it. This time he doesn't like what we did either. Maybe he wants a different lens? Oh my god, what more does this guy need? Maybe let's try to draw a perfect circle? We already tried to do this, but it didn't work. He still doesn't like his lens. Let's make it square. This guy is starting to piss me off. We tried all the options. Nothing suits him. Seriously? Triangle? Buddy, your choice of glasses is too idiotic. Well, we were finally able to help this idiot with the weird hair color and weird glasses, and now we're moving on to the next level. This guy is sitting and drinking something. What is he missing? Um, maybe he doesn't have enough food? Let's draw a cucumber for this guy. Maybe he's just sitting there drunk and hungry? It turns out that this guy is just an alcoholic and he lacks a wine bottle next to him. Okay, it was worth guessing, but I had a better opinion of him. Great, we were able to help this French alcoholic and now let's help this woman. It seems to me that in order to help her, it is enough to remove her from this room so that she does not interfere with this rocker listening to music. It looks like this option is not suitable for us. We still need to help this girl. Let's draw this guy some headphones. Looks like this option doesn't suit anyone either. Well then, I think we can draw big headphones on his head that both he and she will like. 
and this option suits them. Great! And now we need to help this sad bottle and draw a glass friend for it. I think I'm making a pretty ugly glass, but I hope he's happy with this Mr. Bottle. It looks like he's happy with everything. Great! I'm glad we were able to make him happy. Now let's help this guy on the island who is very sick from the heat. We need to draw him a huge umbrella or something like that that can protect him from the sun's rays. Cool. And this umbrella helped him. Now this guy can have a normal rest on the island. Well, now we need to help this guy. Maybe we need to draw a sleep bandage for him. Now this guy will sleep more pleasantly, but it seems to me that this is not exactly what he needs. Well then, let's try to wake him up. To do this, we need to draw an alarm clock. Seriously? Doesn't he like this alarm clock? Well then, I don't know what we need. This guy is not happy with everything. He's definitely a clown. Seriously? Alarm? We already drew an alarm clock for him. Maybe he needs a bigger alarm clock? Oh my god, this guy is impossible to please. We're even trying to finish the legs for this alarm clock. He's still not happy with it. Seriously? Our only problem was that we didn't draw a big enough alarm clock? Okay, let's just trace these lines. Wake up, Boar! Now you have a new giant alarm clock. Well, now we need to help Jax's friend. This guy's very hungry. I think the carrots should definitely make him full. Cool, we helped him. I think this knight is in a little trouble. In order to cope with this dragon, he just needs a weapon. We drew this sword just perfectly, but it's strange that it's purple. Wow! Now this knight has defeated the dragon. Buddy, how did you end up losing your ear? Do you think someone bit it off? But it seems to me that when your ear is bitten off, your facial expression is a little different. We need to erase this black line so that his ear appears solid. Great, now this guy hears twice as good. Buddy, what are you missing? Maybe we should draw him a clown nose because only clowns cry? It's very strange to hear these words from the most important crybaby in our team, but it seems to me that this is not the best option. Let's try to sketch his tears. I think this definitely won't help us either. Maybe it's this guy's birthday and we should draw him a birthday hat. Oh my god, buddy, what is your problem? Just tell us how we can help you. I'm tired of him. I will draw a tongue for him so that it seems that he is not only sad, but also sour. It seems to me that the problem is completely different. Candy? Seriously? Was this guy crying just because he didn't have candy? I am absolutely sure that this tree is missing a star at its very top. No Christmas tree is complete without a star at the top. I don't think this game really likes the star that Jax drew. Maybe you should try to draw it not like a pentagram? But in general, he used the simplest way to draw a star. It's very strange that the game didn't like this method. I hope this star suits her. Now we saved someone's Christmas. Well, let's help the next person. Oh my god. Buddy, what happened to your hand? Where did you lose it? Wait, do they really want us to draw him a new hand? Um, okay. Let's try to do this. I think it looks more like a fork than a hand, but this guy seems to be okay with it. Well, the main thing is that he is happy, and now we will help the next person complete what he is missing. It seems to me that some mistake occurred during the construction of this house, and the builders made the foundation too large. Well, let's add a lift for this guy so he can get up and go into his house. I think the steps will be enough for him. He will be able to install the elevator himself while we help this guy. And now he's home. Now... Oh my god, what's going on here? This guy lost his sock. I think we should add a second sock to him because this guy looks pretty ridiculous wearing just one sock. I think we drew the outline slightly wrong. It may not be the right size. Ooh, I think this guy likes him too much. Look at what rack he's standing in. This stance is very unnatural for a man with such hairy legs. Well, now let's help this guy. Claws like Wolverines will definitely be better than any watch. Just imagine how cool you can be if you have these claws. Looks like this guy didn't like those claws at all. Well, then let's add him a like so that he definitely likes everything. Dear friends, don't forget to like our videos too. Well, he didn't like this option. I think then we'll add a watch to him so he looks like all his other friends. By the way, friends, do you know who else among us is a fan of various wristwatches? Now the shadow of this character will appear on your screen and you pause this video and write in the comments who it is. I hope you answer correctly. Well, guys, have you written your comments? And the correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one. And yes, you were right, it's Kinger. In fact, we are all tired of showing off our watches. He has a whole collection of them, and we can't explain to him that we really don't care at all. By the way, all this time the game does not count Jax for all his attempts to draw a clock. He's tried to do this many times already, but I think it's time for us to try to simply skip this level and stop torturing ourselves. Great! You and I have done this, and now we need to finish drawing the head of this skeleton. How did he even manage to lose her? 
Are you even sure that you are drawing a skeleton skull? It looks more like some kind of champignon over a square or something like that. Okay, the main thing is that the game counted this for us as a correct answer. And now let's warm up this Neanderthal. I think we should draw him a very bright sun. It should definitely warm him up. It seems to me that this is not quite what he needed. Hmm. Maybe then he should draw him a fire. It should definitely warm him up. The main thing is that this guy doesn't accidentally approach this fire and get burned. He's a Neanderthal, and he doesn't know how to use it. Great! Now this guy not only warmed up, but was also able to warm up his food. We helped him, and now let's help the next person. I really want to draw the sun on this guy so that his eyes burn out. You know you can't look at the sun through a telescope, right? It's a pity that the game didn't count this as the correct answer. Let's now erase this and draw a star for him so he can admire it. My friend, to be honest, this is the most disgusting star I've ever seen in my life. Try drawing it again a little smoother. I think you should do well. And I already like this star much more. Just look! Jax had to draw a star three times today, and the third time he got it almost perfect. Well now, we have to help this guy draw a triangle. This guy really can't handle this task himself? I think this is the easiest task in the world. Just draw a triangle. Perhaps this guy is slightly mentally retarded, but in any case, the main thing is that we were able to help him. Now we need to help this guy, and I can't understand what he needs. Let's draw him a monitor. It seems to me that this is not the most ideal monitor, but in any case, it should help him. No, unfortunately, this is not exactly what he needs. Maybe we can try to draw a better monitor? It seems to me that the problem here is absolutely not in the monitor. This guy has huge bags under his eyes and it is quite possible that he is very tired. I think he needs some kind of boost of energy. Maybe we can draw him a cup of coffee? This guy looks a lot like our editor. Right now, our editor is also working all night to create a video for you guys. Write him some nice words in the comments and be sure to like this video. It doesn't exactly look like a coffee mug. Let's try to draw a bigger mug, and we definitely need to draw the steam that comes out of it from the top. This coffee should be hot. I'm definitely sure that's what we need to do. This is about just look how we were able to cheer up this guy. Well, this task was quite difficult, but we did it and... What? Why doesn't this guy have a leg? Guys, where do you keep losing all your limbs? Um... Jax, I think you drew too many fingers, don't you think so? Oh, I think this guy is quite happy with his new leg. This leg looks like it's mutated. Well, now let's add a keyboard to this guy so he can write nice comments to us. Guys, why don't you write us comments under the video? Don't you have a keyboard? If this solved the problem, I would draw a keyboard for each of our subscribers. Oh, I think this guy is missing an emergency evacuation button. Well, okay. Let's not argue with this, and let's just draw a button to save this guy. Great. He was able to fly away by parachute. I hope that the next task will be more difficult than the previous one. Oh, look! This big guy doesn't have enough food on his plate. Well, I think he will be very happy if we draw a burger for him. I think this burger is definitely missing something. There should be at least two buns. Great. Now this guy will be happy. I think this guy has a hearing problem. Let's try to finish drawing him a new ear. I think the game will ask you to finish drawing him a pretty giant ear. Well, but now he will hear his friend well. Is this the foot of Santa Claus? It seems to me that walking in the snow without shoes is not the best idea. Great. Now his feet will definitely not freeze. Ow! Just look! This astronaut went into space without a spacesuit. We need to quickly finish drawing his spacesuit so that he doesn't suffocate. Let's draw a circle around his head. Great job, guys. The astronaut is saved, and now we move on to the next level. This guy feels extremely insecure. It says that you need to finish drawing his crown. Well, maybe we can finish drawing a halo for him. I don't think this is the best idea, but it's worth a try. Let's add another glow effect around it. Well, I don't think he looks happy. I think we need to erase everything we drew and try to draw something else. Let's try to draw glasses for him. Maybe he just doesn't see well. Are you guys serious? It says there to draw him a crown. What in the word crown is not clear to you? Okay, let's just draw him a crown and move on to the next level. This crown has too many spikes. Do you think he will like her? He seemed to really like her. This is cool. Let's now help the next person. We need to help him get the ball into the basket. Guys, there is a basketball fan among us too. Now the shadow of this character will appear on the screen and you try to guess who it is. Write your answers in the comments. I hope you answered correctly, and the correct answer will appear on the screen in 3, 2, 1, and yes, you guessed it right again, it's Jax! 
And I think this ball is quite crooked, but it seems that this does not bother him and he is happy even with this ball. This woman had a fire. I think we need to help her eliminate it. I don't think this is a good idea. The fire still continues to burn. We need water. I think we need to come up with something that will help us put out the fire in her apartment. Exactly. We need a fireman. Try to draw him as similar to a fireman as possible. We need to save this girl from the burning house. He looks quite a lot like a fireman. Well, I hope that he will be able to put out this fire and we will save this girl. Let's just draw a ladder for her to go down and escape from the fire. I think this is the best idea out of all the ones proposed. Let's just do it and let her come down. Great! The staircase is ready, the girl is saved, and we are moving to the next level. Here we need to help the guy with his crazy twitching eye. Maybe we can just give him an eye patch? Kind of like pirates, you know? Yes, it also seems to me that his eye should be hidden. He twitches madly and scares everyone who looks at him. It's definitely very creepy. It seems to me that this is not exactly what needs to be done. Maybe we should finish drawing the frame of his glasses. This may help his eye stop twitching. Wow, that really helped. Only now his nostril began to twitch. It's quite strange, but the main thing is that now this guy is happy. Are you really drawing this guy a bra? I don't think this is quite what he needs. There is a logic to this. Maybe Jax is actually drawing him a swimsuit? So this guy will be fully dressed. The game tells you that this guy needs to draw shorts. Well, okay, let's do this. Hope this helps this guy get dressed. Great, now this guy has shorts. Wait, where is him? Um, okay, never mind. Now this guy is dressed and we move on to the next level. Oh my god, this guy's feet really stink. We urgently need to put socks on him. You're so careful around his leg, Jax. Are you afraid that you won't be able to draw socks in his size? This sock seemed to fit his foot perfectly. Well, now let's help this guy dig up the treasure. He definitely needs a shovel for this. Let's draw a shovel for him so that this guy can become rich and buy himself a new jacket that will be cooler than the one he is wearing now. I didn't like his strange green jacket either. She looks like he's a leprechaun. Okay, now we need to add a new wheel to this poor car. I'm so sorry about the machine. She's crying because she doesn't have a wheel. Don't worry, machine. We drew you a new wheel and now you can go wherever you want. And this teapot is angry because he pours all the tea into the plate. Hey, buddy, I think you're missing a cup here. Great, this is the perfect mug for tea and now this teapot is happy. I'm glad we were able to help him. Now we need to help this crying plate. I think she doesn't have enough food. Let's draw a piece of delicious chicken on it. I think this should calm down this crying plate a little. Our pencil draws in gray. I think the gray chicken won't look too appetizing. Perhaps we are doing something wrong? Yes, it looks like this plate was not happy. Maybe we should draw a fork next to it or something like that? Yes, she missed a fork nearby. Well, this is quite logical. Who even eats with just a knife? Here you need to complete the missing geometric figure. I think a triangle would be the right solution. And now we need to help this girl hide from the rain. How about drawing an umbrella to prevent these drops from falling on her? Purple umbrella? It looks quite glamorous, but quite strange. I hope she will be happy with this umbrella. Now this lady won't get wet. It's great that we were able to do this, and she looks pretty happy now. Oh no, look, it's a crying monkey. We need to help her. Perhaps she wants to eat. Let's draw her a banana. It doesn't exactly taste like a banana, but I think she's happy about it. Well, I'm very glad that we were able to make this monkey happy. This guy is crying among the mustachioed men. Buddy, don't worry. We will give you a gorgeous hairstyle and you will become cooler than these bald guys. It looks like he's still not happy. Well, then we'll give you a mustache, but it will be cooler than these guys. Now you look like, um, Charlie Chaplin. He didn't like that mustache either. Okay, maybe this is an elegant option then. But he really liked this mustache, great! Look, in fact, this cat is not a magician. He just disguised his round aquarium with fish. It looks like this fish is very scared. Now we need to help this girl get the same hairstyle as in the photo. It seems to me that for such a hairstyle, she needs to remove the curlers that are now on her head. Great. Now she's ready for a date. You even managed to say it in rhyme. Well, now we need to make the shadow of his hands appear on the wall. It seems to me that a wolf or something similar to it should appear there. Wow, look, it really is a wolf. I would also like to be able to do the same. It seems to me that there is absolutely nothing complicated about this. Now let's move on. Here we need to help the turtle win. I think without a scooter, this bunny won't be able to reach the finish line. Turns out we can erase the finish line here, but how can this help the turtle? Everything is very simple. It is enough to erase the finish line so that the rabbit cannot cross it. Great! The rabbit moved on and the turtle came to the finish line first. 
I hope you are not upset that we disturbed your relative. Okay, now we need to help this grandpa. A rock fell on his car. I think we need to try to remove this stone. It seems to me that this will not save this car in any way. This stone fell directly on the engine and it seems to me that it can no longer be restored. Yes, it seems to me that there is no point in trying to restore it. Grandpa needs a new car. Look, it's just in the garage. Wow, now he will have a cool sports car. Did this granny really decide to resist death with a plunger? I think this is the worst weapon. I am very sorry for this, Granny. I need to save her. Look, it looks like it was her husband, Grandpa, who decided to play a joke on her. It seems to me that this Grandpa's jokes are too cruel, but they are really funny. Maybe this Grandpa didn't want to wish her harm. Oh my god, I can already imagine that unpleasant feeling when you step on Lego. We urgently need to remove it. Now his leg is in no danger. Great, we saved another person! The hare and the tortoise again? But this time they have some problems with the road. Look, we can erase part of the asphalt and this hair will end up in the ditch. Cool, we helped this tortoise defeat this hair again. I feel sorry for those people who left money for this hair. Now we need to help this guy brush his teeth. But it seems to me that he slightly confused the brush with something else. It looks like this guy isn't fully awake yet. He's not going to brush his teeth with this thing, is he? I think we need to turn this toilet brush into a toothbrush. Doesn't it really bother him that he can wrap his whole hand around the handle of a toothbrush? It looks like this guy really doesn't see any problem with this. We can't make a toothbrush out of this thing. Maybe he doesn't have enough lint on it. It looks like we are doing something wrong. But it really seems to me that it is very difficult to figure out the normal size for this toothbrush. Maybe we should remove just half of it? Great! Now this guy has put a toilet brush in his mouth. I hope he's happy after this. I think I definitely wouldn't be happy after that. At least you can forget about fresh breath. It's the weight that prevents the basketball from hitting the hoop. We need to remove it so that the bowling ball will outweigh this swing and throw it. And it was a three-point shot. Cool. And now the basketball can thank the bowling ball for its help. It looks like it wasn't Grandma at all under the blanket. Or, wait, another elderly pranker? It seems to me that these people are getting bored with life in their old age, and they decide to troll everyone. I think this is much cooler than becoming a grouchy old man in old age! Now we need to help this granny water the flowers! But it seems to me that nothing will help these flowers! Maybe we should look for other flowers in this room. Oh, just look! This girl has tattoos of flowers on her arm, and grandma decided to water them. But I don't understand for what purpose. We need to find a pear here. I think this girl is actually eating a pear and not reading a book. Wait, what? It turns out that this is not a girl at all. It looks like there is definitely no pear behind this book. And here she is. It turns out that there was no light bulb there at all, and a pear was hanging there all this time. One of these two guys is definitely a pirate. There's nothing wrong with this parrot under his glasses. But under this guy's mustache, his mouth is hidden by a very sparse set of teeth. It turns out the parrot was the pirate all this time. It was enough to simply erase one of the lenses on his glasses. What is this thing in her hand? It looks like some kind of walkie-talkie. She even has an antenna. Maybe this is some kind of healing thing for the ear, like she's cleaning her ears or something. Did you seriously not know that this was a very old phone? When I was young, phones looked like this. With their help, you could only make a call and nothing more. Oh no, this little girl was attacked by a vampire. We urgently need to save her as soon as possible. Vampires are afraid of sunlight. We need to open the window soon. Look! The sun turned this vampire into a handful of ashes and the girl is now safe. Oh my god, Bubble. When are you going to finally fix your microphone? It seems to me as if you are talking while in a huge wind tunnel. It seems that this bear is very cold and even the fact that we removed the clouds and the sun appeared in the sky does not help him. But his friend the mouse is very hot. I think he should share his clothes with his friend. I really don't know if such a small sweatshirt will fit on him. Well, let's try to wipe the sweatshirt off this little mouse and leave him in just his shorts. Great. He shared a sweatshirt with his friend and now his friend the bear is not cold. And now we need to help this astronaut drink coffee. My friend, it seems to me that your spacesuit is a little bothering you. Great. Now he can drink coffee? It looks like this car might end up in a hole. We need to remove it as soon as possible. Um, seriously? Is that really not the main problem here? This girl decided to put on makeup while driving. Now she will know for sure that this cannot be done. It is very dangerous. I 
think there are too many pins here. Maybe we need to remove the back rows, namely nine pins that stand behind all the others. It looks like all these pins are really superfluous. There should definitely be no more than ten of them. Cool. We have removed everything unnecessary here. This guy decided to rob a store. I hope that the camera located directly above the saleswoman recorded his entire crime on video. Unfortunately, we can't disarm this guy and take away everything he stole, but we can get the camera out of here. Wait, did we actually help this guy commit a crime? We need to come up with a cool case for this phone. I think the one with a heart was perfect, but it turns out this phone is easy enough to clean. I don't really like this case, but we passed this level and now we move on. Yes, this case is somehow too bright. I prefer cases that are more solid colors. This woman is hiding something from her husband. It seems to me that these legs appeared here for a reason. Perhaps there is someone behind this door. Nobody's here. It turns out that these are just shoes that are standing outside the door. So maybe she has something hidden under her robe. Look at this guy. There's some kind of alien under his hat. It seems to me that he is also hiding something from her. This alien is under his hat for a reason. Let's see what's under the carpet. It's a Catwoman costume. She's actually hiding from him that she's a superhero. But now he will know the truth. We were able to help this man, and now let's help this woman with a vacuum cleaner. I think he's pretty old-fashioned. It seems to me that we need to modernize it somehow. Maybe we should remove the wire to make it wireless. It seems to me that this is not exactly the modernization that it needs. Let's think about what needs to be removed here. Perhaps we need to remove this woman in order for this vacuum cleaner to work on its own. But it seems to me that the game does not give us such an opportunity to do this. Well, it seems to me that we can remove it completely. I figured it out! We need to remove the handle of this vacuum cleaner so that it becomes like a robot vacuum cleaner that moves around the apartment itself. Let's do it! It seems to me that there is logic in your words. Let's try to do this. Okay, we cleaned everything up and... Yes, it now works independently. Cool! Oh no! A giant shark wants to attack this guy! We urgently need to remove it! Oh, just look! It turns out this little fish decided to troll this guy. And now this guy is finally safe! Cool! We were able to help him, and now we need to help these guys so that they can be friends. It seems to me that a balloon cannot be a friend to a cactus, but no, this is not a way out of this situation. We need to remove all the thorns from the cactus. Cool! Now they can hug each other! It looks very cute! Now let's see what's actually inside this pencil sharpener. I always thought that there was actually a blade system that sharpens a pencil. But in fact, there is a little crazy beaver sitting there. It looks very funny. Now we need to find where the ostrich stuck its head. Maybe it's under the bucket. No, he stuck it in the ground and it turns out that his head was under a cactus. How did his neck turn out to be so long that he could stick it so far? We were able to help him and now we need to help these guys who are hampered by the heat. Maybe we can just remove the sun. I think this is the worst solution to this problem. Maybe they should just open the windows. Wow, just look. We made a convertible out of their car and now they are driving like a breeze. And now we need to help the right hand so that it defeats the left. But she shows the paper. Maybe we should remove two fingers here so she can start showing the scissors. I think this is a great idea. Let's do it. The main thing is to remove them carefully. Cool, now the left hand wins the right. Look. This bird is made of numbers. I think we need to remove everything else so we can see the number two. It's strange that you decided to choose the number two and not the number four that was at the bottom. But it seems to me that this is the correct answer. Cool, we were able to pass this level. Let's move on to the next one. It seems to me that someone is taking a shower here. I don't think we should look there. Jax, what are you doing? Why are you washing this curtain? In this level, we need to find a duck. Is it possible that she is hiding behind the door? There is no guy in a flamingo costume there. Could this duck really be in the bathtub? Cool! We found a duck! It turns out that in fact a guy washed himself in this shower. Now let's find out which of these two is really the killer. It seems to me that this guy with a red beard looks more like a killer. Oh, just look under his apron. It's actually a t-shirt with a unicorn on it. What are you trying to say that this woman is actually a murderer? Did she burn a man alive in that oven? Oh no. Turns out she's a killer. She even has a bloody knife. Now let's help this guy get to the top of the mountain. It seems to me that it will be much easier if we just remove part of this mountain and it turns out that this guy is already at the top. 
Great! We did just that, and now he has climbed to the top of the mountain. Who put the stones inside this hourglass? We urgently need to remove them so that the sand can go down. I can't even imagine how they could get inside there. It's a one-piece design! But the main thing is that we were able to help this watch, and now let's move on. And here we need to find a clown. I think we need to remove these cards, but no! It turns out he's just a mustachioed guy, and the clown is depicted on a map that he hides in his sleeve. This guy is a very clever card magician. Now let's find the wolf among these sheep. Maybe he's hiding behind a tree stump. Let's check it out. No, it turns out there is a hedgehog sitting behind this stump. Maybe a wolf is hiding in the crown of this tree. And yes, he's here. This guy definitely has the reflection in his mirror showing the wrong result. It seems to me that it is better to correct his figure a little. He definitely doesn't need that belly. It seems to me that we didn't erase the entire belly. Let's try to do this. Great, now this guy has a very slim figure. He seems to like this result. Now let's make sure this cat isn't afraid. Maybe we can just get him out of here. I don't think this is the best option. We need to remove what he is afraid of, namely this woman. Oh, just look. It turns out that his owner decided to troll him a little. Just look at this evil moon. It seems to me that she prevents the sun and the earth from communicating. Need to remove it. Great. Now the sun gives its light to the earth. Now we need to understand why this woman is angry. Perhaps she actually doesn't like the towel that is wrapped around her head. Oh, look, she has that calming thing on her head. She looks pretty relaxed now. Great. I'm very glad that we were able to help her. Now we need to understand which of these people stole the watermelons. This guy stole money and is hiding it in a bear. It seems to me that this is a more serious crime, but we are still looking for watermelons here. Oh, just look. This girl actually has the very watermelons we are looking for under her jacket. Now we need to find the number four here. I don't quite understand what we need to do here. Maybe let's try to remove the leg of this candlestick. No, guys, if we remove the right candle, we get the number four. Great, we did it. Cool. Are we really going to get a manicure now? Wait, buddy, are you serious? It looks a little weird when a guy sits and gets his nails done. Don't you think so? I think it's a pretty relaxing activity. Just look at how shiny this coating is. It looks very nice. I really miss manicures because we don't do them in our amazing digital circus, so I can enjoy it at least in this game. Now let's choose the color with which we will cover this nail. Oh, I think the last color combination will look absolutely beautiful. Kinger, how long have you become such a specialist in the field of manicure? It's quite strange to see how interested a guy is in choosing nail colors. Perhaps he is hiding something from us, but let's not question him. This is a personal matter for everyone. Now we will choose a sticker for this nail. You need to choose something that will fit perfectly with this color scheme. I think we chose the perfect option. This nail looks really cool. Let's see how the client rated it. I think they look pretty good. Three stars and we earned 140 coins for them. Cool. I wonder how much such a manicure would cost in real life. Oh, this is the next client. Let's make her nails more beautiful. What is this thing? Is it needed to shape the nail? I think it's quite convenient. I wonder how she would have managed to do it without this sticker. I think it would be almost impossible. I still remember a time when people actually used false nails. It looks very terrible and was very impractical. I feel like I'm at a girl's slumber party right now, but I can't figure out whether I like it or not. I feel a little strange. After that, I had even more questions for you, but it seems to me that it would be better if I keep them to myself. We'll just keep choosing nail designs. Let's choose a stencil with fire! Oh yeah! I think this would be the perfect option, and we'll paint this fire bright red so she can have biker nails. Buddy, tell me, how often have you seen bikers with painted nails? It seems to me that among bikers there are no such people at all. Well, I don't really like the design of these nails. Well, we tried ourselves as a manicurist, and now let's try on the role of a stylist. We need to make this girl beautiful. It seems to me that we have a rather strange selection of games today, don't you think so? But it seems to me that we chose great games. Wow, she has hair like my favorite TikToker, Bella Porch. Oh yeah, this looks a lot like her. I think they chose the perfect bow for her. And yes, we won. Great. I like this game too. Guys tell me this is generally normal, and I should like some other games. I will not comment on this in any way. Just keep enjoying these games with us if you really like them that much. I wonder what image we will need to repeat in the next level. Well, let's find out right now. We need to make this girl look like an angel. Well, okay, let's start. I think white hair in this body would go perfectly with this look. Oh no, my shoulder itched and I accidentally cut her hair bald. 
Well, I think that angels can be bald too. There is nothing wrong. Let's just continue to choose the options we need. But this seems to me to be the key choice. We need to add a halo. Great, the main thing is not... Um, seriously? Did you choose red skin color for the angel? I don't think she looks like an angel at all now. You also chose a long neck? Now she looks like a giraffe. I think now we're going to lose... But it looks like our opponent chose a much less suitable outfit. Cool! We won again. Just look at how funny she dances. Okay, let's stop playing girly games and start playing something really serious. Here we need to modify our gun. But this game is much more suitable for boys. It seems to me that it should be more interesting for them. Let's see what we need to do here. I find it very difficult to shoot down all the targets at once! We need to focus on increasing the power of our weapons! Okay, now we need to make money here. But we didn't get past the second stage. Well, let's see what we can spend this money on. American flag keychain! Looks pretty patriotic. Well, let's take this money and go to the weapon modification room. Here we can spend money on spare parts for our weapons. Let's add a silencer to our pistol. I hope now he will be able to achieve his goals much faster. Let's now see what this gun is capable of. It seems to me that this silencer did not add accuracy to this pistol, although the jacks began to hit targets a little more often. It seems to me that he just has more skill because he is already playing this game for the second time. Well, let's continue to play it and see how much we can improve our gun. It's strange that this game also interested you quite a lot. Perhaps, in fact, the fact is that you just like idiotic games like this. I wouldn't call this game idiotic because I think it's quite interesting and there aren't as many ads as in other games. It's cool that our editor removes all advertising inserts from this game so that our viewers don't have to see it. Well, let's add even more new parts to this weapon. Cool. We added an enlarged magazine and scope to it. Now let's go through the next level with our new modifications. It seems to me that we haven't added all possible spare parts yet. Cool! We also added a laser sight for this pistol. He should definitely shoot much better now. I hope we can go a little further now. Oh, there was some enemy here and we killed him. I didn't even notice it. Perhaps it's because we now have a super cool gun. You know, I like this game even more. This is probably strange. After all, I'm a girl and I should like making beautiful girls and painting nails more than improving weapons. Yes, it's really quite strange because I liked the previous games. Now let's play a game in which you need to increase this stick man. Yes, I also think it's time to end this game and let's really move on to the next game. Here we need to make sure that this guy constantly passes through the blue portals and does not end up in the red ones. Every time he passes through the blue portal, he either becomes fatter or becomes taller, which gives him more points. I wonder if it's possible to make it so huge that it doesn't fit on the screen. Okay, here's the finish line. Let's jump on this springboard and see what happens next. Oh, every time he touches an obstacle, he becomes smaller, and we need to get to the boss who is at the very end. Okay, first attempt was not very successful. Look, here we need to build our city with the help of the points we earn. Let's collect all these points and go through it to see what we can get here. It's very cool that there is an additional goal here instead of just collecting points to get a record. I would really like to build this city completely. There are various shops here and it's very cool. Yes, I really like it too. Here we can also defeat other people who have fewer points and take their points for ourselves in order to place these points in buildings. Well, let's start the next game to earn even more crystals. Now Jax needs to concentrate as much as possible on not going through the red portals in order to earn as many points as possible. I hope you can do this. Oh no! You accidentally touched an obstacle. Because of this, our character has become smaller. Well, I hope that this will not interfere with our final result. I like this game even more than the previous one. It's very funny. Now let's move on to the next game. Wow. Woo! This doesn't look right to me. Oh god, what's going on here anyway? What kind of nonsense is this? Wait, no, 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 don't tell me. Oh god, not this! Um, finger in the socket? And why do you need a finger in this socket? Wait, don't tell me he's going to poop now. At first, I thought that this game would be difficult, but it turned out that this game is just idiotic. Hello, Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play the plug and play game. Maybe you can tell us what is the essence of this game. Do you just need to plug the plugs into the socket? In fact, there will be a lot of puzzles here that will be a little incomprehensible to us, but we will try to go through them all. Okay, let's take a look at them. So now I see a white screen and nothing else. Here, two strange fingers appear on both sides. I think they are very long. What do we need to do here? 
I think the most logical option is to help them touch. But it seems to me that they go quite evenly to each other. They start missing. You need to point one of your fingers. Great. What kind of person is this and where is he running? Every time we click, he changes the direction of his running. Maybe we just need to wait for him to reach his final goal. Looks like he ran away. Well, now it's a black screen. No, wait, he came running and crashed into some invisible wall. Buddy, are you okay? Can you talk, breathe? Um, I think he's alive. Great. Oh, he gets up. I hope this guy doesn't run around like crazy anymore and the same thing doesn't happen to him again. It looks like he's still in a hurry to get somewhere and he's run away somewhere again. Wow, he disappeared behind the screen and came running from the other side. No, he fell again. But instead of him, another guy ran out of the door and was also running somewhere. Where are they all going in such a hurry? I don't understand what's really going on here. This plug fell out of this socket. Well, let's insert it again and... What happens? Some kind of button guy on a white background. He gets up too. He goes to other guys like him. There are a lot of plug guys here. This guy touched another guy and they are now touching each other. What's going on here anyway? Why? What? I don't understand anything. Why are they touching each other? What's going on here anyway? Um, two socket guys walk towards each other and they have wires sticking out of their heads and... What's that for? What's going on here anyway? I do not understand anything. There is definitely some meaning to this, but we don't understand it yet. Hey, just look! This guy pushed him and now they are pushing each other. Why is this happening? What did he do to him? Well, okay! They push each other and the last guy remains. The rest of the guys are all lying there and this one just went somewhere. Okay, now we have a room with some strange button. In fact, I absolutely didn't understand what was happening here, but I hope that our subscribers like it. Guys, pause and write in the comments, did you like this game, and be sure to write what games you would like us to play. I hope that you wrote the name of your favorite game in the comments, and now we need to decide what we need to do with this button. In order to go further, we have some kind of strange plug, and we need to find an outlet here. I don't see a single outlet here! This is very strange! There is only a button that turns the light on and off and nothing else! I think we need to figure something out about this. It turns out there was an outlet under this button. Great, we got it done. Well now we have two sockets. We put a plug in there and what happens? Some guy walking on a white background. What is he doing? Now he's become the socket guy instead of the plug guy. Okay, let's plug the second plug into the socket and... What? Wait, don't tell me he's going to poop now, not this. Oh my god, what's going on here anyway? At first I thought that this game would be difficult, but it turned out that this game is just idiotic. Okay, he pooped out some coin. And what will he do next? Um, okay, he pooped out two coins, and what should we do with them? It looks like this guy is not at all interested in this coin. Maybe we should try to somehow interact with him. It seems to me that this also does not give any results. Let's try to throw this coin the same way we threw the first coin out of frame. I think this should give some result. Oh great, we've moved on to the next location. Now this guy is coming for these coins. This is quite strange, because before this he was not interested in them at all. I wonder how long we will be throwing these coins. Oh, similar. Now he will raise them, and... What will happen next? Okay, this guy is a fork man again. Now, we need to take another plug out of the socket and insert a button there instead. Well, we did it, and now let's... Oh, we got the second fork. Now there are two buttons, and we pressed two of them. Now some plug guy is walking towards the socket man in the dark. He met him, and it became light around. Let's talk to him. I don't really like this man Rosette, so let's say goodbye to him. Great! He also said goodbye to us. We turned around and went in the other direction. Let's see what awaits us ahead. One more person socket? He greets us too. We have two options for the question. Well, let's choose this one. It looks like some kind of dialogue has started between them, but their communication looks as strange as possible. Although, what did I really want from the socket man and the plug man? It looks like some kind of romantic relationship is developing between them, but it seems to me that the love of the socket man is not mutual to the plug man. Well, this is a very sad story. She even refused him a hug. It is really very sad to watch how it hurts the plug person to receive such answers from the socket person. Well, now the socket man is gone and the plug man is left all alone. I hope depression doesn't affect him too much. It looks like this guy was really sad. 
I would really like to cheer him up, but we move on to the next scene. Now we need to remove these buttons from the sockets and insert a plug instead of one of the buttons. To be honest, I still absolutely don't understand the logic of this game. What's going on here and why are we even doing this? But I hope that we are not doing this in vain. Here again there are people with sockets with wires sticking out of their heads. I think we need to bring them closer to each other so that they somehow interact. Oh, they hugged. It looks very cute. I hope this is the same guy who got rejected. Oh, they took out the sockets and they connected. Why is there a third person here? I think this guy is definitely out of place here. Wait, what? Wow. Woo, this doesn't look right to me. Something very strange is definitely starting to happen in this game. Wait, no, 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 don't tell me. Oh God, not this. Do you remember I said that Pomni likes very strange games? So forget everything I said before. Country of this game I have never seen before. This is the weirdest game in the world. I simultaneously want to see what will happen next, but at the same moment, I absolutely don't want to... Oh God, what's going on here anyway? What kind of nonsense is this? It seems to me that now there is no point in calling the creators of modes in Roblox crazy. It seems to me that games about a big head are a real trifle compared to what happens in this game. I've definitely never seen stranger games in my life. It seems to me that everything that happens in this game can be explained by some deep philosophical thought, but I have absolutely no explanation for what we are actually doing here. This really looks like some kind of nonsense from a crazy person. Okay, he grabbed his finger, and what will he do next? Why does he even need this finger? Wait, what? Seriously? Did we take the finger out of this guy's hand? Okay. Now we have a finger that we can most likely insert into the socket. But why do we need it? Why do we even need a finger in the socket? What is going on here? Lord, I absolutely don't understand the meaning of what's happening on the screen now. Well, okay. This is a socket, and we need to insert our finger into it. Um, finger in the socket? And why do you need a finger in this socket? Wait, did we turn off the finger? What, what just happened here? Okay, guys, I really hope that you really liked this game and understood its meaning. But for me, this game seemed a little strange. Well, now let's move on to the next game. I think it looks more like a fork than a hand. Claws like Wolverine's will definitely be better than any watch. It looks more like some kind of champignon over a square or something like that. Jax, I think you drew too many fingers, don't you think so? Hello everyone, friends, and today we will again play a game in which we will need to complete the missing elements. It seems to me that this is not the ring she wanted at all. So let's remove part of his grid. I think we did it in vain. Turns out this guy really loves ballet. This is a very strange hobby for such a large man like him. Oh my god. What is this grandpa doing? I don't even want to know what he's hiding behind those bushes. Hello everyone, friends. Today we will play the game Remove One Part Again. I think it's a little hard for this guy to pull the cart. Let's see what's under that green cloth. Oh, there's some very chubby guy eating burgers. It seems to me that we need to carefully remove this tissue and look at it. Hey guy, what are you even forgetting here? I think this guy's in big trouble. Now let's move on to the next task. Oh, here a guy wants to propose to his girlfriend. Let's look at the ring he will offer her. It seems to me that this is not the ring she wanted at all. But now she will definitely cry. But this time, not because of happiness. I definitely think this guy doesn't need a cone around his neck. Let's delete it. How did he even think about putting this cone on his neck? After all, it is needed so that the animal does not scratch itself. Oh, Lord! Get that finger out of your nose! Why are you poking around in it? Oh, now we need to help this Theodore so he doesn't get run over by the bull. I think we can just remove the bull from here. Oh no, I think we did something wrong. Well, let's try to remove the tissue. Oh look, what's underneath it? What? Where did this guy get my panties? Oh, I think I said something unnecessary. Well, let's move on to the next level. Hey buddy, now is not the time to sit and eat. Oh, it seems to me that your plate is not what it should be. Does this guy actually eat soup straight from the shield? I can't even imagine under what circumstances this happened, but I don't think it matters. Let's move on to the next task. I think this builder is a little tired of his work. Let's help him have some fun. Maybe we can put his instrument away? He looks pretty happy now. I think he is very glad that he now has such a thing. And now we need to help this bus get into this rather narrow tunnel. Second floor. This bus definitely has an extra one. There are just no people there. This means we can remove it. Now this bus can go through this tunnel on this road. It's cool that we were able to help these people get through this tunnel. Now let's find the monster on this plate. Monster? What do you mean? 
Oh, I think I get it. Here you just need to remove the bacon and it will turn out to be a funny one-eyed cute monster. Yes, this monster really turned out to be quite funny. I think this girl's eyes are too big. Oh no, I think she looked much better with big eyes. This girl really has vision problems since her lenses make her eyes look so big. Well, here I think we need to understand which of these two guys is a real werewolf. Let's check this girl out first. She has a t-shirt with dog paw prints on it. I think this definitely means something, and we can't check what's under this guy's shirt. You need to remove the clouds so that the moon shows who the real werewolf is. It's great that we helped this guy. Now let's help the zombie. I think we need to make the balls fly into the air. But for some reason, when we try to remove the threads, the balls still remain in place. Maybe we need to try to separate his hand so that the balls fly up with it? Yes, this helped us. Great. Let's move on to the next task. That guy's sledgehammer looks pretty menacing. Let's try to fix it somehow. Oh, he wants to take a selfie. I think this will be the very first selfie on our planet. This fish is hiding something from us. Let's see what's in the treasure chest. Oh, there are a lot of gold coins, but that's not what we're looking for. Maybe there is something interesting behind this coral. Oh, look, that's a very cute little crab sitting there, but he doesn't interest us either. Oh, just look, behind these algae, there is a hook. This fish turned into a ball fish when it saw him. Well, now let's move on to the next task. And here we need to help this red bearded guy eat honey. It seems to me that it would be good to start by removing all these aggressive bees. But unfortunately, the game does not allow us to do this. So let's remove part of his grid. I think we did it in vain. Now this guy has been stung by bees. Well, sorry, buddy. But now we have to help this witch find out what's in the box. Someone prepared a prank for her to make her scared. A creepy clown jumped out of this box. Well, this is a very good joke. Now we need to help our boyfriend deliver breakfast in bed. It seems to me that this girl is not very happy that he eats this food himself. Well, it's quite possible that she was waiting for a surprise all this time. Let's take the cap off this guy. Oh, I don't think he really wants to show off his bald head. So maybe he's hiding something under his clothes? I think it definitely doesn't look like a lumberjack's outfit. Turns out this guy really loves ballet. This is a very strange hobby for such a large man like him, and now we need to understand what is hidden here under the foam. There must be a really cool Leo tattoo there. Well, let's see what's really hidden here. Oh, I think this guy won't be very happy with this master's work. Yes, what happened is completely different from what is shown in the picture. Well, let's now move on to the next task. Oh my god, what is this grandpa doing? I don't even want to know what he's hiding behind those bushes. But in order to pass the level, we need to look at this. It turns out this grandpa was just watering the tree. There is nothing wrong. I already had time to get scared and think that he was really standing and peeing. Oh no, this biker accidentally broke his bike by crashing into this tree stump. Wait, what? Does this goat have a saddle on his back? I don't think it's the best replacement for a bike, but this guy and the goat look happy. And this is the main thing. I am very glad that we were able to help them. And now we need to find the right path to the treasure. This is a very strange map. I don't understand what actually needs to be removed here so that we can build a normal path. This is starting to annoy me a little. I also don't understand what actually needs to be removed here. All that is removed here is the flag over the island and the dotted line. Maybe there is a need to remove the dotted line in some specific place? I think we need to try to remove the line starting from the small island and ending with the ship so that our route goes through the top of the island. Well, let's try to do just that. Great, Regatha! Well done! You told us what we needed to do and it turned out to be right! Now we need to free all the teeth! I think we need to remove the braces! Oh, now they won't grow properly! This is very bad! I think he should leave some nice mustache on his face! Just look at this handsome guy! Why doesn't he go to bed? Oh! I think we did something wrong. This situation is really extremely unpleasant. What's up with her hair? Was it a wig? Wow, she has quite a trendy haircut. Hello everyone, friends. And today, we will need to remove unnecessary parts from the image. I think he should leave some nice mustache on his face. Yes, this is the best option. The only thing you need to do is remove the sideburns. Just look at this handsome guy. Wait, where did that mustache go? I don't like him bald at all. Now we need to remove some of this. Oh, I think we need to remove this cloud. She definitely prevents this flower from growing. When the sun appears, it will melt this ice and the flower will receive its water. Great. We made it. Do we really need to help this robber find the money now? Oh, here comes the cop. 
I think it would be better if he goes to jail. It looks like we really need to help this guy after all. Okay, let's find the money. Look, they're at that door. It's bad that we had to help a criminal. Well, let's clean this lamp now. Maybe a genie will emerge from it and fulfill our wishes? We need to do this as carefully as possible so as not to accidentally break it. Let's start with the handle and then wash the rest. And now she looks very cool. Look, it's Jin. It looks like he doesn't want to fulfill our wishes.